I think it would be a huge bait as well. That's definitely feeling the same way. So we're on the same page. We'll see how uh, FBZ feels about it as well. He is a uh, master tier Beastmaster, so one would imagine played against plenty of Terror Blades in his time. You know, going back to your question about the Terror Blades, like, there is a nice amount of frontline. I agree with you that Skadi is going to be very important in this game. You punish a Leshrac, and I think for Nygma, they don't really have the best way to approach a fight cleanly. It's like, if Beastmaster wants to run in raw, Leshrac wants to get on top. Now, if you throw Doom coming in to delete a hero, the techie's jumping over, Death Rock of Exorcism, BKB running into the middle, Terrorblade's always going to have free entry to, to right-click and to, to see who wants to go on. There's a lot of single-target go for Nygma, like the ET wants there to go is. on a hero, Beast, the Lesh, sure there's AoE damage available on those heroes, but their main kill threat is like kind of condensed down to kind of a small set of spells uh, that aren't as you know, AoE hungry, and, and that's where yeah. I think the Staff Prophet should but be. But I also... Mm -hmm. Just whilst still we're on the TB pick, like I do want to kind of loop back around and say, like the reason we're bringing up the reasons why they pick TB is because I think most people look at this and go, "This is a bad TB game." You've got a lot of illusion clear. You've got Leshrac, who's traditionally very good against illusion heroes, and you've also got the Elder Titan as well, who has that um, aura which completely nullifies his, uh, his his natural armor. So it's it's definitely not a very conventional pick here at all. Hence why we're kind of. Yeah. Talking about it a lot and, and validating it and trying to understand mm -hmm. the reasoning behind uh, PSG Quest here. Uh, so there's a bit of fighting over the uh, the bounty runes here. Miracle. He's kind of stepping up here and I'm not sure he wants to do this. Mana quickly disappearing. Kuroki trying to get in and get a decent amount of damage off in return, but I think Miracle might just be blown up under the tower. Malik gets first blood. Is he going to uh, miss any creeps? Mm, might miss one. Not the end of the world. I was laughing because on the minimap someone drew like the arrow to get back to top planes. Like, why did you walk through a jungle? Why not walk safely behind tier twos? So, already a bit of communication <laughs> happening there. I yeah, think, I think that it was, was FPZ, but it could yeah. have been techies. I couldn't tell between the, well, the color on the minimap. I think we know what announcement's going to be coming out from Ning Galaxy tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for your, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank your you hard work during the qualifications. That one arrow you drew on minimap was the last draw. For the for the hope for the Enigma fans, thank you, Noob, for pausing so I could talk about this. There is going to be an element of staticness for PSG Quest. We've often seen them be a little bit more active in how they want to utilize supports to give Noob a game. And this time around, that active nature is very objective driven. Like when DP has Exorcism, she's not running into the enemy jungle to go for a kill, right? She's moving towards a tier one tower, making some of these moves happen. And that's where Enigma, at least, there's a, a, a little bit more room to, to farm up, to be ready for that rotation. I think defending towers should be relatively easy because you, Doom and Terrible never want to make moves early on. Like They really want to hit creeps and, and farm up. But maximum, there's three PSG quests who want to make a move. And if anyone else comes, it's suboptimal to the main game plan. I think if Nygma are able to equally drag their heroes around the map, get some Beastmaster level 6, bring him for a roar. Sure, it's unconventional from Nygma, but... They have to make some of these early counter aggressive moves and then sure they can ball up and maybe break down the map a little bit but pacing is going to be really key for nigma giving away first blood but the doom doesn't help at all but i am expecting no. to see nigma bring the beast and leshrac into the early game as we see countless pauses hopefully there are yeah, no tech a little issues a little bit of issues but uh, you know there's a lot to establish for this game potentially the last game of the mena region if psg quest are able to have their way with it but i also think it's we haven't really spoken too much about this medusa pick but i do think it's a pretty great medusa game uh, all things considered you know doom doesn't really do a whole lot to medusa because she's got that mana shield so that's always going to be a big kind of counter to consider just generally, like it looks like a game where Farm Medusa can kind of just lead Nick Galaxy to victory if Miracle does get to that position. But again, it's about stemming the aggression as a TP out from Matthew, going to keep him alive. Very nicely done. X rotation is also going to be very important in this game as well. Does the DP move to top?
top, bottom, or just try to shove in mid. I think most likely Smell's going to do a pretty decent job on defending mid tower because that's kind of how Lesh rolls these days. He's quite greedy. We'll just stay in his lane. If the DP does go to rotate, then uh, we might see a uh, edict coming down and a tower starting to be melted. So I'd like Keep to see the support come mid for the middle lane. Like when you think about it, a techie disruptor going for the Lesh, right? Like Noob will have the siphon up so he can at least tank through some of that Lesh spells with the Exo running. You get a kill, it's going to feel amazing. Like ET Rubik, they're very much enabling supports where they do a lot of control for other cores to do the damage. And where I was saying that PSG Quest is rather static in nature with Doom Terrorblade, they are also very static with Medusa Beastmaster. I just think that Beastmaster, if he has a good lane, can make a move compared to a, a Doom. But pre, pre that, it really will be advantage PSG Quest if the levels are in play for them. As they're trying to kill up uh -oh. here, he is very... He'd gone for a wonder and does now perish. Yeah, the uh, mana burn creep on the Doom gonna cause all sorts of issues. As well as the techies just pumping out damage as well, so find yourself in a bit of an awkward situation there. On the bottom side, FPZ. I'm getting zoned out a little bit off this bottom lane at the moment. Pass and TA2000. Ready with the metamorphosis. So it's a really big threat, and you can see FPZ is just really respecting that. He's pulling the wave back. He's just making sure not to give him the opportunity for metamorphosis into glimpse. It just leads to a very awkward looking lane for him. Yeah. And very importantly, he is going for the Helmet Dominator. He has made the read that he is going for the, the old school build, the important build. Alice has glimpse if he wants to okay. use it, but they're splitting the damage in bot lane. Yeah, they really are. Tier 2000 was pretty convinced that he was going for FBZ here, but instead they'll move towards Matthew. Matthew, still surviving for now, and actually just Mirabel is going to be able to make his way out of this one, so the combo not quite working how they wanted, but Tier 2000 in his powerful demon form with a ranged attack will be able to uh, chase back FBZ. Sorry, I just like that description for some reason. It just sounds so silly. Transforms Terrorblade into a powerful demon with a ranged attack. Oh, hold up. Well, Oh, Mid whoa, lane. whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, well, I'm lagging a little bit, but hopefully I'll be okay. What the hell just happened mid lane? Yeah, yeah, my... <laughs> this is this is absolutely it's crazy. What? What? They they got the you got the kill onto the death prophet. We don't see kills happening in the middle lane solo anymore. This isn't 2015, but of course, the male he he, he still thinks it is. And he brings down the death prophet. Very big kill indeed, and that is going to set up some of all sorts of success now in the middle lane. It's because Sumo goes for that point in stun. Like, other Leshrac right mid laners, they go for three points edict. They they don't really care about that kill threat, but no, Sumo does. And... Oh, luckily, my reconnect did fix my, uh, my lag issue, so I'm back in the game. Yeah, support's coming in. Omar looking to uh, maybe set up something here. On smell, but mm, maybe not. I mean, they're in the, the air. are coming over, Disruptor as well. Yeah. And Exo isn't played this time around. If Simo thinks, oh, I can go for a kill, then. Uh oh, Miracle getting run down on the top side. Doesn't have the mana left. Malik wants to finish the job and is going to be able to do exactly that. Broki cannot stop him. Miracle, another death room up at the top side as uh, Regen Room going to spawn over towards the top. It's a Doom yeah, Summer top, and he's he's getting through the ET and the, the Medusa to, to kill off this Dusa. Meanwhile, the supports are living mid lane. They really want to take this tower. It's what we expected with the uh, the drafts in play that this quest can make the earlier moves. Such defensive positioning from Sumo. He walks all the way to the, the Dire triangle, triangle on the bottom side. He cannot protect his tower alone. He needs assistance, and his team's not ready. Beastmaster is, of course, still locked into the farming of bot lane. The Malik, <laughs> he is... hits level 6 and just drops the Doom straight away <laughs> onto Kuro's head. And Kuro, he's going to try and go for the Deny here, but unable to do so. Too much damage coming out from that Doom. But, Malik's uh, just too Yeah, the middle the tower oh, What the hell? I mean, mana burn, dude. It's it, it's unbelievably good against Medusa. Mm hmm. Like, they have the mana burn with the Deuce. Oh, yeah, it's actually pretty grim. I just saw it used once. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a quarter of Miracle's mana. The problem is it's based on Int as well, and uh, Medusa has pretty high intelligence, so... 
That's why you this pick Ogre a... against Doom. Rude. Dumb heroes for the win. Doom. Uh, sorry. Stomp into the uh, <laughs> middle lane, but unfortunately, Samel just gets glimpsed all the way out, and Noob is absolutely fine. Great glimpse from Ducalis on the sidelines and down to the bottom side. FBZ's gone as well. Five kills now for PSG Quest inside eight minutes of the opening match. The opening of they this just match. can't rotate as well as these supports. It, this grand finals, it really is the, the supports in the early game moves. Omar, he's getting chased down Omar's by Omar's just running away. There's no Matthew, trying to finish 2000. him off. Oh, stun. the stun miss. Okay, surely, surely TA2000 has to fall here. Yeah, and he will. The male gets a pretty critical kill here. He's doing it all right now. And haven't had both turns. It's top of the side. No, oh, Miracle. He's gone down again, again Malik. Uh, Just will um, not leave him alone. All point Scorched Earth. The mana burn the veil. This Medusa sitting at three deaths in laning phase to a doom lane. Like you, you never really expect that, but a little bit of RNG on that mana burn. They're gonna get, they're gonna be obliterated up here. And sure, Omo dies, but they don't have a safe lane. They don't have a bot lane. They've lost mid tier one. It's they were already smoking up as four at the eight minute market. Whew. They're running to top. They're, they're trying to punish maybe another over aggressive step by Doom. It's somewhat expected. It's off cooldown in eight seconds. There are no major TPs in play from PSG Quest, so if they do find Malik, he will easily be dying here. How good of an yeah, actor is Malik? not aware. Yeah. Does he take one down with well his final here. breath? Oscar worthy performance. Doom goes out onto the Lesh Rack, but it's not going to be enough. They're going to be able to grab the kill. The noob is coming in from the side. Omar as well committing to this one. They know that Lesh won't be able to commit to this fight. So Kuroki is just going to get run down by the ghost here, most likely. Oh, they came for the twin gate. Step away. Oh, man. The male does end up going down. Doomed up, killed off. Miracle's going to fall as well. Watchly stuck in this engagement. Tier 2000, of course, turning up just for this fight. Yeah, you lose your doom, but they get the one and two of Nigma Galaxy in the process. FBZ going to relish the small amount of space he has been given. Grab that Helm of Dominator and uh, try and just get something done in this game. Going down the toilet so quickly for Nigma Galaxy, honestly. The map pressure coming out right now. They've lost their middle tower and their top tower in inside 10 minutes. All due to the sexism and... When that engagement started, I was like, okay, there's some hope for Nigma, right? Like, the TPs are not available, but they were so close to the Twin Gate that both Disruptor and Terrorblade, within seconds, they poke their head up and... That fight, not looking so good. The fact that you're four-man smoke... You're four-man smoking for Beast to go bot, three to go top, but... You're dragging so much of your, you know, efficiency, your resource... To just kill off a Doom, to then also trade away your lives. Miracle sitting at 0-4-1. The worst starts that we've seen him have in the game so far in this grand finals. You know, he has the Invis rune. Opts him to go for the Twin Gate. He sees Terrorblade top. Potentially an easier kill than this tanky Doom. And Terrorblade, yeah. he's not holding a point. He just does not have Sunder. They see him, though. They had a uh, sentry up on the oh, Tormentor. Oh, oh Ter but... Well, he saw him, they... but uh, did not react accordingly. Tier 2000, no Sunder available. It's going to get pulled down. Lightning Storm connects. Quite a yeah. interesting TP. <laughs> that's, a, that's a diplomatic way of putting it. Meanwhile, Kuroki's dead again. Down on the bottom side, going on a bit of a warding mission and punished appropriately. Okay, you know, that's a pretty bad TP. I, 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 you know, I can say it. I'm confident. I will say m maybe, you know, it's not super common for Leshrex to go. But no, no, we can't. We can't. We can't. <laughs> No, I feel like if if Nigma had made that TP, he would have probably said it wasn't very good. So it's only fair that we also say it wasn't very good for PSG Quest. Oh, hold up. They're back. Oh, they certainly are. So. Doom up in the top side. Oh, miracle. Oh, miracle. Once again, getting chased down up in the top side. Mana Boot's going to do a bit, but not nearly enough. Robson, I, 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 think, I think I've changed my mind. I don't, I don't think I think this. I like this matchup anymore. There we go. The male being jumped in the middle lane. He's got himself a Yules. It's going to buy him a little bit of time, but unfortunately, there's an Atos out onto him now as well. Nice stop from Kuroki, though. That might buy some male the space he needs to get himself out of this one. Certainly will. Male, nice save there.
onto him is going to get him out of danger. Now yeah, picking we... up both the uh, active rune and the bounty rune. It's going to get him all healthy and mannery and all them delicious things again. We were talking about the static nature of like these farming heroes, but this Doom, the fact that he's taken over the top side of the map, yes, he's farming, but he's farming the entire dire jungle pretty much. And I think Noob's doing a pretty stellar job at showing himself oh. in, in pretty important positions. He might be uh, getting caught a little bit here, but Sumo just lost half his HP walking up to the high ground. <laughs> hmm. And there is an oh, ATOS on Noob. The turnaround potential, of course, is very powerful if he wants to use it. Yeah, yeah, but, but with no exorcism, I, I think they're gonna oh, pull out for now, they? maybe. No exo, no doom. And Malik also went back for the miners. Care. Like, he's down just to hit some creeps and. I still like the ambitious ward here from Matthew. Throwing it underneath from the low ground. I expect him to deward it, yeah, especially with the courier getting killed. They, they knew there's vision there now. I have to ask the question though when is FBZ really gonna enter the game? Of course, his. Farming his way towards the Helmet Overlord. Getting that Ancient Creep will give him a little bit more purpose in the fight, but is anyone else ready to step up to the plate for that aggression? They're underleveled on supports. Just about to hit level 6 on ET and Sumo. Yeah. And for a semi-aggressive build with the Yule's Kaya. Stomp. It's on the nice Stomp. Yep, just go for the reset. It is interesting that they were sinking so much time on three heroes on the galaxy here, just kind of watching Quest farm their jungle. They can't really leave the area and just like allow PSG Quest to just walk around their side of the map uncontested because that would just mean Miracle dies again. So they kind of have to do it, but they're just kind of standing guard at the moment. Not ideal. Jump in oh, onto Doom. Matthew. Doom comes down onto Kuroki. Not the most high value target, but again, Malik's he he's finished this this hand of Midas, so very clearly happy to just throw down dooms to get these uh these throwaway kills. When Go back to farm some creeps. Six, one, and three doom. He's being part of nine or thirteen kills that have Midas Veil. And he's already got a blink if he wants to. He could go halfway towards Shiva's. Like he Malik is just tearing up this game. Of course, Nick uh, sorry, PSG Quest are one game away. From top well, fine, to Jimmy Season 23. It isn't a LAN, but still, very prestigious online tournament. With quite a bounty available. Nonetheless, as well. Yes. Yeah. They've Money and also those all important EPT yeah. points. True. They want to maybe get to rear down the line, then qualifying is going to help them. Be nice to see PSG Quest back on the international stage. They've. Uh, Never really been good enough to overcome Falcons in four qualifiers, four grand finals they've lost, but this time around might be able to shake off the grand finals curse. And get themselves into the old yeah, experience. Very good read from TA2000 down on the bottom side. Throws out the scan, gets himself to safety, and uh, will not be caught farming that creep corridor down on the bottom side of the map. The galaxy trying to be aggressive and not really connecting here. Doom's about to hit 10,000 net worth. Whew. Okay. My goodness. He has oh, 60 Shivas minutes complete. into the game. The 15 minute 54 Shivas. Oh my god. You do yeah, not Shivas want to go near this Doom. <laughs> no, no, I don't think anybody does. I think you just respect Malik and you're like, okay, buddy, you, you, you're, you're a big boy. Instant smoke up. They aren't playing towards the Doom, really. Doom might use the Twin Gate to, to connect on the smoke, and just the vision from Nygma, it doesn't really feel like they're placing good enough wards at this stage of the game. They're committing two wards to this Terror Blade location, right? The one below the Tier 2, one above the Tier 2. As soon as they get to their own side of the map, this is not going to help them defend their, their triangle, defend the Medusa farming, and the smoke, it doesn't connect yet, but they late connected on the Doom, so he will be able to... Let's be undercover for smoke for just a little bit. It will all fade very shortly. Yeah. Just standing idle in the middle. They're going to be found. Stag it's, Storm it's a little too. awkward. Stag Storm pretty easily thrown down onto the two of them. Throw in the Techies blast off as well. But Techies taking heavy hits in the middle. But they're not really coming to the fight. Miracle is though. He is in with a stone gaze and immediately going to get a doom thrown in his face. Big pole out. 
Miracle just wants to try and get himself away. TP is available if he just wants to full on leave this one as Samael gets glimpsed back into oblivion. And dude Hadesos. just keeps on chasing. He really wants to just get some extra damage out onto this Medusa, onto this FBZ Beastmaster. And yeah, Beastmaster not going to be able to escape from this one. Will be three dead on the side of Nygma Galaxy. I don't really know what Nygma were trying to do there. They, they walked up into the river. They all started watching Kuroki Dewater high ground spot. And they just got wrapped around them. PSG Quest, they're using their smokes, they're making the moves, they're jumping Miracle again oh, top. Oh no, Miracle. He doesn't have stone gaze, he has a wand. Got a wand and a manta, and a dream. That dream will be enough to keep him alive. And now, running back in with no mana, Who's but here? his best friend's here. Malik says, hello, do you remember me from the laning phase? And Omar comes jumping in as well, and Miracle gets flattened. Dead once again. Malik on the front lines, I mean, not hyper healthy here but also not worried this just team is just not here to, to really punish him as elsewhere on the map FBZ just trying to get mid lane out nope. supports do go down yeah miracle dying yeah, yeah, every single kills. engagement or having to run away is not feeling good like his net worth is the the least of all the cause he of course has had a a terrible start to this game. What is it? Six deaths? Ooh, the most of anyone on his team. Broki is sitting just behind him with five. The safe lane has 11 deaths in 18 minutes in this game. The FBZ is trying to poke this tower in the safest way possible. Just using the creeps. Being pretty darn careful about it. This is... Probably the most effective thing that uh, they can do on the map right now. Maybe what they were trying to set up for earlier on. Using the Helm of the Overlord to get a bit of map pressure without risking their heroes. That's what it's for. Malik sees his best friend in the bottom side. Yeah, that's the, Malik's just a huge Miracle fan, that's all it is. Omar falls down on the bottom side. Not the nice support pick off for Nick the Galaxy. They're starting to get a little bit of uh, movement on the map. Yukalis, let's get seen as well. Groki just running at the guy. Severe aggression from the Elder Titan. Nygma's strength is in numbers. Beastmaster, Lash Track, Medusa. These heroes like to ball up and hit towers. They are trying to use their strengths. This is interesting. Yeah, 5k gold behind, but they're making the call to be aggressive, to be on the enemy side of the map, to push towers. It's that's pretty scardy timing of Terrorblade. As long as you have some items available, then... You can make that group up, you can make that play. The Helm of the Overlord has been in, in Beastmaster's uh, inventory for a little bit. It's a Kaya Sanj on the Leshrac. And I feel like Nick, but they, 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 can, they can be the aggressors. They do have plenty of damage. It's just about setting up the fight, and uh -oh. this is not how you do it. You're getting picked off, you've left him alone. FBZ dies. Yeah, difficult one to defend, but they are stolen. going for the Doom onto Malik. Yeah, stolen Doom from, Ma uh, from Matthew. I didn't spot that one. Ah, oh, he used because he just used it onto Medusa, that's why. Medusa yeah. trying to get herself away. Once again, pig pole out. It's going to be tricky, though. There comes a glimpse. Miracle once again dragged back into everybody. Stone Gaze TP might be enough to get Miracle out. It is. Miracle survives for once. Matthew, meanwhile, does get caught. He doesn't get out with his Doom, and he is going to get bought down. Steals Doom again. <laughs> The miscommunication there from PSG Quest. They used the Glimpse and the Aptos at the same time, allowing Medusa to freely TP out. There was no other cancel in play with the Stone Gaze as well. You cannot rely on Doom jumping in. You would just get put into stone form. It doesn't really matter though for PSG Quest. With the Exo running, with the meta running, they are able to go straight into the pit. Blame the Aegis. Yeah, Who are they being to? annoying, but that's about it. It's a thousand that's what coming Hell to as well. Yeah. Give it to the real carry this game. Woo. Yes, sir. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. The Mal sees Malik, but this is absolutely not the target you ever want to start a fight onto anymore. Not with an Aegis, at least. I think before this point, I felt like Malik could have been vulnerable to like some magic damage. I mean. You ignore the fact he has just 1,700 HP, now 1,800. Perhaps you can just roast him with some uh, with some lash rack spells, but not not anymore. Not with the BKB coming out, especially, and not with an Aegis. The thing with Nygma's draft is it's a lot of damage over time. They don't really have that explosive damage. Like Medusa wants to right click. Matthew wants to die in the river. 
Um, Leshrac wants to edict you. you know, it's like it's a lot of along the engagement. While PhD quests, like they they enjoy that, right? DP has silences. Oh, sorry, siphons to heal up. The the doom naturally will just tank most of that engagement. So even if you are to find this this doom, what's stopping? Or Techie's jumping back in. The the disruptor to position nicely. There's no explosiveness with Nigma's lineup, and I think it's why you see PhD quest running around the map so freely. The time it takes to kill anyone will probably allow for some counterplay to, to occur. And Sumo, he's stepped up in the mid lane. That's there you go, up. Doom comes out. Pulse Nova not running right now, so he might just be bought down. I'm not sure he's surviving through this one. FBZ coming in, using the roar out onto the tech. He's trying to bring him down and will be successful in that. Malik looking in from the sidelines. No Doom available, but still a pretty strong hero without it. In he goes. Infernal Blade comes out onto FBZ. Glimpse as well, and his health is just running out as TA2000 cuts him down. Stone Gaze used by Miracle just to get him and his supports out of here. What a cool build from Noob. He's got an Atos for lockdown, some Halberd to, to just annoy this Medusa. Don't allow any kind of potential chance of the. Oh, wait, she's getting some right clicks off. Oh, nope. None of that. And then. Maybe even a blink dagger just to make sure that positioning he wow. will love to find the back lines, prevent Rubik and uh, uh, Elder Titan from recasting their spells. Uh, this game has been very fun to watch if uh, you're a PSG quest enjoyer. Enjoyer. Yeah. yeah. Or just a good Dota enjoyer. If, uh, yeah, that's kind of a good Dota enjoyer. Mm. Yeah. I don't really mind who wins. I have no favorites here. I don't know, like I had favourites the way I said that, but just to clear, I have no favourites in this series. Sounds suspicious to me. Get him. That was a little bit Make suspicious, yeah. Yeah, Noob even it's doing crazy something rare for Nigma Cause, Cause especially. For <laughs> <laughs> Going for the um, healing lotuses as well, which I really like to see. I feel like a lot of Cause just don't bother with this, and we have those like lotuses just sitting around with like six lotuses on each pool at some points, but... Noob not neglecting the lotuses. Yeah, hopefully he has bots, right? Really it's very effective. It's like he's able to actually make these moves and not be away from the team. Yeah. Ooh, the, the scan from Pitch Quest connects on yeah. Like How many times have we seen this during this Grand Finals? The support's getting dragged in some, some core movement, not really connecting or anything, and after the fact, they then draw the circles like, guys, they're here. Like, yeah, well, you just... Didn't really find the entry, and if you were to connect, you want to connect as three heroes. It's very, very awkward. Beast Master does have the BKB though. He does yeah, and Miracle has been able to finish off a butterfly some way, somehow. So, you know, it doesn't give him the raw HP to really deal with the doom, but also a Medusa. You don't really want that anyway. And will help him a lot versus the Terra Blade. So clearly, just looking for the end game items, thinking about in. 10 plus minutes time what is the game state going to look like and what four or five items are going to want and the second one on that list is the butterfly noob be positioned very aggressively taking this middle wave as well right in the faces of nick mcgarry he's teasing us look how much gold he's got he's like do i go bkb am i going for this blink is he going to change it up with a random third option that we're yet to see? Whoa. Nick will casting Rapier for the uh, big damage exorcisms. Let's go. <laughs> what? It's so FPZ uh, about to get Blink Dagger. Kuroki, be careful there. Ooh, 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 it was close, but he gets it. Matthew, meanwhile, will die. Pops also die. Over the top side. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Top tower being absolutely right. slammed by TA2000. Exorcism coming through as well. Though. Oh, and they managed to find the glimpse back onto the left track as well. So Zamel's got to make his way back in all the way from mid. That means they don't really stand a chance of defending this. Miracle comes across. All right, maybe this is the stalwart defender off the top lane of barracks. They won't be able to defend the range barracks, but they will be able to chase them off the melee. A small victory, but something which uh, Nigma Galaxy will be forced to take here. Maybe this is the point where they look for a play. Exorcism will be on cooldown for a little while. Metamorphosis <laughs> as well. Doom not on... I, I mean, if there's ever an opportunity, Nick the Galaxy, they have to take it. 
Yeah, they have to go now. They're pushing out top of the illusions. I don't know if they have any smokes available. I'm, I'm not seeing any on Elder Titan. I don't know about Rubik. Okay, they've got one on Rubik, but they need to find something. But if Death Prophet and Terrorblade aren't at full strength right now, when the Beastmaster, he has to blink, but it's such a predictable play, right? Like when you have these lineups that have big cooldowns, as soon as you use them, and these pros are conditioned to want to retreat and just look at the positioning of PSG Quest. They're all by their tier so threes. Defensive. They're not giving a yeah. single chance for Nigma to find a, a, a free kill. And that is just going to hurt Nigma. They, they need to get to towers. They need to force some objectives here. At least utilize this very small window of time. 42 seconds for the Doom. 73 seconds for Exo and 35 for, for Metamorphosis. It's uh, pretty good for them to do stuff, but... One tier two tower, and that's about it. They've not really been able to achieve anything else. Of course, any farm right now is pretty good for Nigma, so they will use this window of opportunity just to maybe get themselves to one Whoa. more component towards an item. Huge moment here on the net worth. Miracle very briefly overtook Noob. Pretty Huge big moment. Yep. Well, it was only for, for like a second or so. But... Teammates, right? And Medusa was the bottom of everyone. But it has taken yeah. nearly 28 minutes to overcome her teammates as well. Miracle is back. All right, guys. If you want Nygma to come back into this game, you know what you need to do. You know that the bat chests really empower him. I have no idea how it does, but he finds that energy somehow. Or if you don't, just don't. It's fine. Yeah, PSG Quest are kind of cruising in this game. We'll now see the true Nygma fans in the chat. We'll find out who... Who's a believer. Meanwhile, cooldowns are back. Of cooldown for the side of PSG Quest, so they are ready to rock once again. Exorcism, Doom, Dadic Storm, Metamorphosis. All the good stuff. It's all ready to go. Roshan is up as well on the Dire side. Going to be Radiant very shortly, so... That's been a line drawn by uh, by FBZ. I'm not sure what he wants to achieve here. Just getting waves out by the looks of it. That seems to be the case. Request hunting forwards now. Tier two thousand just picks up his second really big item of the game, which is the butterfly. If you quest those, should just take these other towers. Don't overplay their hand. Take this bottom tier 1, take the tier 2. If they want, they can force uh, Nigma back to base and then look to do Roshan after, as it's going to be respawning shortly. No crazy items have really been picked up. Like, yes, Butterflies on Terra Blade, I think Octarine on the Death Rocket, but. Guardian's not complete on, on Miracle. Like, he is getting back into this game. Leshrak as well. Not the wildest to pick up, but a blink dagger. So they're going to have double blink on Beastmaster and Leshrac. It can be a little bit more explosive. Something that we said that they lacked with their lineup. They have now itemized to potentially deal with that. Scully yeah, with respect that. Miracle. Yeah. Well, running back as uh, these illusions and creeps just shoving in the waves right now. So Miracle will come back to deal with those. Yeah, breaking the high ground is going to be you can... pretty damn difficult. No, I fully agree. Like, the fact that Terrorblade, if he steps up into a roar with an ET Spirit on top and Leshrac, like, he's dying. Like, he doesn't have BKB yet. I think that's yeah. why they are playing you know, quite disciplined on PSG Quest. Playing in the area, but not over overusing their hand, eh? You want to wait for Aegis, yeah. most likely. It's also, yeah, I was going to say, just kind of standard procedure, waiting for Aegis to hold this triangle, shove in both bottom and mid waves, and then that way you force Nygma home. And it means there's no way they can really contest Roshan without just running all the way down this bottom wave, which you never know, feels super good. Daytime as well, so Radiant Roche really favors Quest as well. Just everything, everything very, very, uh, very careful and positive. This side of PSG Quest. Like Magax, yeah, I have a feeling they might be staying on the high ground for a very long time. I don't imagine they go to contest Roshan or anything like that, but maybe. Maybe? You say that. Man, they're that, that, that they're smoking it out. I think I'm going to test the Roshan. Thoughts? It, if they lose this fight, the game is probably over instantly. 
they win the fight, then whew, we got a game on our hands. The last time they did this smoke in game three, they just walked into instant death. So this yes, time around, it's got a bit pretty. better. They've already I'm concerned. broke smoke or miracle to deal water ward. Actually, no, then they re-smoked and buff. It's fine. They've used scan. They know they're not in the pit, so it's going to allow them to position just a bit better. <laughs> They're pushing the waves from fog as well. Like, yeah, the techies mind. Like, they know where they are. This is not a smoke of. It's no, not excellence. a smoke. It's just, it's just not no. a smoke. <laughs> like they're here, but they may as okay. well be under wards. You can may track their well. movements very easily. Yeah. And do they retreat? Do they stay? Or do they want to fight? They're all kind of body blocking each other right now, trying to get back to a yeah, high Yeah, they're kind of lion kinging across the bridge. <laughs> They have one observer, Kroki, holding it until the fight starts, and that's it's over. Both teams have a scan. And that's it. Nick was attempt of aggression was followed by one proximity mine and a creep wave dying out of thin air. And some techies mines. Yeah, 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 that's showing us. yeah. Damn good hero. Just for scouting out these kind of movements, so. It will be a pretty straightforward Roshan for the side of Quest. They play their way into it nicely. Now TA2000 picks up the Aegis. There's going to be a banner grabbed by the techies as well. So yeah, Ooh. I have a feeling we might be seeing uh, a lot of Big Galaxy on their high ground for the next five to ten minutes. Will they be able to get back out onto map at any time soon? I don't think so. Question is, how long can the Galaxy hold out for? I feel like if Miracle forever. gets to MKB timing, then yeah, forever. <laughs> it becomes very difficult to break high ground with that, but before then, I think these Terrorblade Illusions should be able to do quite a lot. One it's, the fear, it's the fear of the Beastmaster. Like, FPZ, he got his Beastmaster pick, he, he saw a lot of heroes before he picked us up, but... He's farmed a lot, but not really done anything for his team or the game right now. And that's any minute that will become very different, right? The the blink roar into, oh my god, the pick off. Like, it's expected to happen at least once in the game. He's not going to conclude the game with no real impact. I'm, I'm sure it's going to turn around for him at some point. And I think that alone is giving PSG Quest, uh, PSG Quest sorry, a little bit of hesitation to go high ground. They don't want to give this Medusa that, that one fight protected by a base like Nygma. They've struggled immensely uh, in all these qualifiers with positioning, with matching the quality of the players they're against in teamfight execution. But the high ground with this type of draft and all those problems, they, they disappear. They're going to be able to, to execute the perfect defense because they've got so much time to discuss it, so much time to plan it out. And it really is on PSG Quest to, to make sure they know why they're going high ground and, and which way they're going to do it. Because if they don't, then expect them to lose a fight. EKB, of course, is available for tier 2000. That will help him to go up, but yeah. They don't want to go up this high ground. It's so spooky, unless oh, Miracle gets caught miracle. here. Ooh. Hold your breath. Please be greedy not. now. Oh, he sees a Shiva, he backs himself away. He should be all right here. I just... I, I, I wouldn't care. I just didn't want Mamalik to be the one to kill Miracle again. You know, like... The, I like to think that there's some character growth here where, where Miracle's been able to, you know make himself still be a hero after the horrific laning phase, after Malik bullied him and, and trampled on him and spat on him in the laning phase, but now Miracle comes out stronger than ever before and is a, and if he just died there, it would have destroyed that whole thing. So, but he gets away, so it's all good. Malik does not connect. And uh, maybe guys will continue holding this high ground. Two minutes left on the Aegis. The map is yes. being uh, absolutely farmed up by Quest at the moment feeling no pressure to run up this high ground and force anything out. In fact, they've even taken a barracks. I mentioned before, no, uh, MKB just finished now by the Medusa. Miracle has been able to get himself a good amount of farm despite the position his team is in. He's been the only one able to get out on map and get anything for this, so this should put an end to these illusions on Terrorblade being able to just freely take barracks as, as long as Miracle is home. If Mummy leaves, then Good issue. That's Mummy Medusa, by the way, not, not Mummy Miracle. 
woke up. Made me galaxy on the run. Hey, just do it's it ATA 2000. I mean, it's I a to... target, and the Amanda dodge is almost nice, but don't forget, this is Aegis. They don't want to overcommit to this kill right now. Matthew has been found on the sidelines. Doom comes out onto the Medusa. Medusa, she needs some help, but with the Static Storm coming out onto her as well, she's going for the TP out. The Glimpse is there to stop it. Miracle's just getting absolutely destroyed right now. Omar will die, but now out of mana, running out of health. Miracle trying to stand his ground. He's getting off That's some Tormenta. damage, but not enough. Tormentor killing a lot of heroes. Actually just killing Miracle at the moment. Noob getting a, uh, a shard during all of this as well. That's pretty nice, I suppose. And quest, I mean, it, it was messy, but they do win the fight. Now 66 seconds without Miracle. Could be I a have, chance. I have no idea why Nygma is taking that fight. I have no idea who's making that call. But that is not a game for 15,000 gold down play to make. The Aegis is out in like a minute 20. You're... Your big entry, your big statement, the reason why Peter Quest haven't gone high ground is that raw initiation. See how quickly, yeah, he manta dodged it, but see how quickly he disappeared. Like, why is Nygma smoking up to kill off a Terrorblade who still has the Aegis? Like, just wait 50 yeah. seconds, make the same play, and then you're going to be back in, look back in the game, but you're at least going to get the kill. Terrorblade's dead. He might buy back out of a, oh, I can win the fight. Maybe he doesn't. You get to progress the game a little bit longer, but to make that call with Aegis still in, like, you're the one controlling the game, even though you're down by so much gold, the fear of high ground is what's keeping you in this game, and then they just, just kind of waste their their timings, and Sumel, he's pushing top, he gets a beautiful blink though, but I have to yeah, ask the question, that was clutch. not a good call from Nygma. Sumel might still be in trouble here, they're still chasing, the rest of Nygma coming on through, but they're not going to be here anytime soon, so it looks like it will just be Samael going down by himself, trying to buy himself a little bit of time, trying to get back to his team, but never going to make it. And Matthew is the only one really continuing to come over and try and help out there, so... Samael will die. Yeah, these movements just not really making much sense to us for, for Nygma Galaxy. Well, I said after the, the, in the pregame, right? It's like the same as last there. They make some weird smoke moves that don't seem to sync up with the game's timing. And now PSG Quest, they have Lincoln's on the, on the Death Prophet. X is them hitting the, the melee Rex. Tumor so doesn't really want to buy back, but might be forced to if they want to protect their, their buildings. It's yeah, already if these moves are so quickly. Like, four head or five head, but <laughs> it was a miracle was dead. Noob, gonna get roared up. Malik jumping in, looking for Miracle here. Wants to land Simo that Wabak. Doom, but they're actually making the call to get themselves away on the side of Quest. Samael trying to chase, but it's so much used by the side of Nygma Galaxy and unable to really turn it into a whole lot. But that said, you know, at the same time, x now on cooldown. Static Storm just coming back. And Doom back on the cards as well. So, PSG Quest. Something tells me they might just want to wait for Roshan here. Just, just simplify the whole going high ground thing. It's so hard for them to break high ground. It's why I'm, I gave such an honest reaction to that previous play from Nygma. They're kind of holding yeah, all the cards in this game like to some degree, right? There's like a lot of respect being shown and they just get a little bit too excited and because of it, they then forced out Sumo to buy back. Like, the Medusa's dead, so Sumo just beelines it on top, blinks out, then dies. He's dead for like 70. Respawning in 30, Rax is getting pressured, he has to, it's just so awkward. Self-inflicted, uh, you know, pain given to Enigma here as they, they just struggle to, to really make anything happen. And Pierce Quest, like you said, yeah, wait for that next Roshan. It could respawn in 20 seconds. It could also just be a really long respawn. We'll find out shortly. But yeah, the, uh, all right. What's the buyback situation? Feather. Hold on. That's that's pretty important. For the next high ground defense, Medusa, Beastmaster, and Rubik, all very close to having buybacks. So it will just be only the Leshrac without buybacks for this upcoming fight. As long as they don't start spending their gold. Don't do that, Nick. But keep your gold. Give us a fight. Everyone I don't know. wants to see that one fight from you. That Void Stone on the Lotus Orb looking real tempting. That this is fresh raw yeah. recipe looking <laughs> real juicy for FBZ right now. <laughs> no, but I, I will, of course, be praising PSG Quest a lot in this game. The way that they moved around the map, the way that Malik broke them down, they they really do deserve this this game for win. But 
I have to say it when I see it, and I will happily spend a, a minute or two exclaiming my uh, disbelief in some of Nigma's moves this game. It's your quest now going. Yeah, the third I mean, that, that torment to play was yeah, very, very odd. I don't bring it up, man. I'm still getting... I feel uncomfortable yeah. even thinking about it. But Roshan going to be Especially grabbed by Mummy Miracle Yeshi just Quest, seconds before. Like, I was double uncomfortable. No, I said I said Mummy Medusa. Specifically no, not you Mummy, said Mummy No, you specifically said that Mummy That never Miracle. happened. It like happened. When, if Mummy leaves home and then just, just elaborated on that. Uh, well... Anyway, Aegis, now belonging to the Terror Blade. Is this the point where PSG Quest break the high ground? How long do we have to wait before they give it a go? Double damage resonance. Uh, okay. I'm actually kind of concerned because uh, wait, hold on. he didn't wait uh, for the bottle for the amplified damage. Are they going to make the really cool play? No, okay, they're not. Do they have a smoke? Let me check. They have a couple of smokes, so what when you lose your tier 3 towers, it does allow PSG Quest to make the smoke deep into the enemy base and fight them from their own base rather than going head on. It could allow them mm -hmm. to, to catch the backlines. They were drawing on the minimap, but they, they didn't really opt to do it. Yeah, I guess it's a little difficult as Roar is now out onto the turret. My god, Terror Blade is getting absolutely blasted right now. This first life completely taken. Of course, didn't really use a whole lot there. No meta use. BKB still in inventory. It will be okay, but... Uh, all right. I think for uh, PSG Quest now, you know, you just want to wait for the next Roshan. Um, oh, hold on. Smoke up. Unless... Yeah, they're going to find themselves FBZ here. Doom comes down. BKB TP out from FBZ. He might just be okay here. Don't think the Doom's going to do enough damage to actually finish him off. But we'll give Noob a chance to get on the high ground and get the Exorcism going onto those barracks, but they might see the opportunity. Now, there is a refresher shard on the Doom, so... Not like Doom is completely out of the game. It will still be in play. We could catch somebody out here. Miracle already down to half HP just from these illusions. Got to be a little bit careful and by HP, of course, I mean mana on Medusa. EHP would be more accurate, but Noob coming up the high ground. Raw comes out onto Noob. Noob, he's not going to survive this. He's gone. Another hero taken out by Enigma Galaxy. And now they're going to go up towards TA2000. They want to take down the big boy, but they don't have to stun through the BKB. TA2000 will escape. Can they catch anybody else here on the retreat? Doesn't look like it. It's so slow going to get out onto the map for this team. And there's a lot of mines on the floor as well as Kuroki is finding out, so... They will be able to escape. Still another butchered high ground attempt for PSG Quest. It's starting to look a little bit difficult. This is the strength that I expect to see from Nygma. Like their high ground, it, it is so impenetrable with these heroes, and even with the Aegis, they're just not able to really whittle down any buildings. At this point, if Nygma don't make those random smoke plays, I'm kind of favoring them. I, mean, I think it's easy to look at network and the kill lead. Right now, if I see Nigma play in their base, not make overly aggressive smoke plays when resources aren't in their favor, then yes, I am currently, I think, a well, well, you know, disciplined team can win this game. Like 60-40 right now, I, f I favor Nigma because they just can't break the base on PSG Quest. It is so hard for them to get through to this. I'm not trying to provide any like copium, but let's say like, more that's, like 6436, like, so... you know, just like a ballpark from me. Maybe 7129. Like... That's why I got so like disgruntled when I saw this like Aegis play. It was like when I see this high ground, I see like the Beastmaster, the ET, the Dusa. It's such a formidable high ground defense and Death Prophet, she thrives before big items come into play. Like she likes to be the yeah. early game aggressor. When when it gets to late game, she's not very good going high ground. Like she has to stand still with Exo running. She's gonna die hundred zero from some split shot and stuff. It's like she can't chase yeah. deep and get siphons off and also but... There's there was another thing I kinda noticed in that last fight was a nice little combo between the supports. The Rubik dragging back the Terror Blade. And the old Titan just able to Kuroki just sit in the middle, just just sitting on the uh, on the on the Terror Blade when he's dragged deep into the base. That's a real problem for the Terror Blade. Like he he cannot play 
the fights <laughs> if there is a uh, big fat brokey on his face because it's just well your armor's just gone natural and they order, have a lot of defensive tools. ability yeah. like medusa needs to be able to stand her ground right like he has, of course, the BQE fight prior, but there's a Lotus and Glimmer on the Rubik. There's the Vlads and the Drum on the Elder Titan. The Beastmaster has his Inner Beast Aura with an AC. Like, they've, they've got a lot of utility to make sure this Medusa hits even harder. And now Daedalus is complete. She'll probably backpack her boots, and Beastmaster has the Refresher. PSC Quest are smoked up right now, of course. If they win a single fight... With these big items in, buybacks are not a question for Nigma. Not happening. So if Nigma <laughs> misexecute their high ground defense, then good shot. But the fact they're forgoing oh, buybacks no. as well, they really just leave that their, their goes, defense is strong. I'm scared. The torment scared, is back no, up man. again. I hope this isn't Ooh. the uh, Enigma guys. They, no they agent, don't like their torment to being taken. They take they that personally. Worry. All right. Stay strong. They're staying strong. Just yeah, I think PG Quest tormentor. deserve to win this game. Barracks. But I'm ready for the comeback. I mean, yeah. I, I guess deserves kind of the wrong word, but it feels like they should. Nobody have won the deserves game. anything in Dota. No, She's yeah, a cruel exactly, mistress. Yeah. So that's a that's a poor use of the word for sure. But... Miracle was trying his hardest on his Medusa. Is the wind probability slowly shifting the way of... Mm, kind of. Uh, from 82% oh, down to 64, so yeah. Yeah, got down to the 61 at the very lowest, but yeah, we've, we've kind of chilled out at 64. I really like this Wind Waker from Smail as well. I mean, it's an incredibly defensive build across the board. Lincoln, Sanj, and, uh, Kaya and Sanj, and uh, Wind Waker from Smail. I mean, no BKB still, but... Does give him the options, but Jukalis has now grabbed himself an Agadim Scepter and has two Blank Daggers queued up as well to go with it. So, with those Blink Daggers in play, he will be able to get on the back lines and, and maybe punish Samael's build a little bit. Shan, it might respawn in a minute 10, and then, of course, three minute window after that. I also Shani, really like the uh, choice phase. from. What choice do you like? Sorry, like they already have. Um, yeah, I, I like Smell's choice to go for uh, or to skip out Bloodstone this game for net, for at least like the first majority of the game because it just doesn't really make sense. You've got a Doom in the game, you know. Obviously, he's always going to be a big target for the Doom, so you don't want to make that even more valuable. And you've also got the Scardi, which is always going to be built on the uh, Terror Blade as well. So just skip out on the Bloodstone in the early game. Go for more big defensive fight items. Changes. The Shock Talk, of course, has Agonims with Telescope. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That helps. Oh, okay, Nick, but they're leaving their base. Their base has been their best friend. Oh. It's what gave me so much hope for their defense, and we'll see if they they can get some good vision down to, to replicate their success. They need One a high ground. Hero they need without to smoke. buyback right now, and it is FBZ. What did he buy out for? It's the refresher orb. Still the refresher, yeah. Oh, you gotta be so careful for FBZ. I mean, he, damage he's... Oh, oh smoke and smoke action. FBZ leading the charge. Miracles not smoked though, so they do see him. Malik immediately going in here. BKB comes out. Roar is there onto the Death Prophet. Samael ready to follow up as well with the split up. Medusa running in, doomed up, hexed up, everything used onto the Medusa, but it doesn't matter. They're able to take down Noob regardless, but Medusa just can't get away from this right now. Wind Waker going to be used onto Medusa to try and buy her a little bit of time. Miracle can't stand his ground here. He is going to go down. Not enough damage coming out. Not even trying to turn around and fight that one. Samael, though, he's looking for the opportunity here. Coming in on the sidelines, but once again, these kinetic fields so on point from the Disruptor. Ducal is just breaking this fight in half as they bring down Matthew as well. Three and now they look now. towards the Leshrac. Three buybacks used from the side of Enigma Galaxy. Quest, they see it. They respect it. They back themselves away. Their cooldowns are just not here at the moment. They'll go back. They'll wait for the reset. Enigma Galaxy, I don't think we'll be looking to really punish this. And all of PSG no, Quest no. spells will be up for the next Roshan. It's not as if there's going to be a window where Roshan's up and you know, the, the ages are contested pre-Doom, pre-Exorcism. Of course, Death also brought back in that fight, but Nygma, they left their base. They went for a fight, but it just wasn't the clean initiation that they needed. The clean initiations that they get at their high ground, it just wasn't found. FPZ, he walks down the mid lane, through the bottom side, into the mid lane, 
Blink dodges back, and at that point, there is no high ground advantage, there's no vision that gives Nigma nice entry. They're roaring up the Death Prophet, the Medusa's kind of on the southern side of the fight. It's pretty split up that that's not the type of fight that Nigma want. And of course, PSG Quest, they, they excel in these types of engagements. They are instantly smoking, though. They want to try and control this Roshan pit. And Doom's up in 25 seconds, Exo's up in 10. This is going to be a full force PSG Quest fighting into Enigma that just used their buybacks to survive the previous fight. Vision is key. There's a ward here. This is... They're going to see the smoke. Oh, they know, they know. The bomb goes off. Yeah. Brokey. He reveals everything and PSG Quest just continuously backing, backing away. They don't want to fight just yet. Three seconds on Doom and all of a sudden... No, yeah, maybe we do. All spells back available. It's a completely even fight now. Top but meanwhile, lane. creeps just pouring into the yep. base. Bombs exploding. Nigma Galaxy, they pull the parachute cord. They are done. Yeah, she quests so good at reading these movements. I mean, sure, you could say it's a little obvious with the cooldowns all going on the side of PSG Quest, but even so, to keep up this discipline all the way through this series between four games, every single one, they've been able to keep vigilant about their timings, about their weaknesses, and excellently reading so much of what Nigma Galaxy has tried to do. Another Aegis, another attempt for PSG Quest to try and break down this base. They're going to have to think of a different route in. They can't just blindly walk up the high ground and hope to take buildings. And don't forget that this is a Nigma lineup there. They can, they can deal with a Lost Rax or two. Or for PSG Quest, they're going to need to do some smoke shenanigans. Utilize that ninja, ninja gear on the Doom. Try and wrap around and... Of course, they have so many mutes in play. Disruptor Ags, Doom 25 talent. They can delete heroes. The lack of buybacks. Only Leshrac has one. I think Sumo is going to really have to enter the fight with a lot of noise. You know, soak up some of that. So the Doom or the, the Static Storm and allow his team to, to play with a bit more confidence. Something we don't see that often is uh, Leshrac's going for the Pulse Nova Trigger's Lightning Storm talent. Is this just uh, an answer to the kind of TB extra illusion clearing -ness? Yeah, these fights are pretty uh, chaotic in nature, so Diabolic Edict isn't the best. I think it's good when you're ahead and you can get to buildings. When there's no buildings to fight for, you need to get as much damage as you can, so yeah, I can yeah. Also, see very why Pulse Nova looks nice. I suppose. It's either quite, not quite as tasty. Oh, no, it's pure these days. God, that was a throwback. Remember we'll give credit. Edict? You wanted a 60 minute game this Grand Finals. And game Woohoo! Four, <laughs> life on the line. Yep. This could be the best time for it. Might be getting tier 5 neutral items. If PSG Quest are to potentially fail at this high ground. I might be waiting Just for to another Roshan, this is, guys. This is game number four. Yes. PSG Quest, two games up already. If they win this one, they are through to Dream League. And Nigma Galaxy are flanking out of yet another qualifiers. Their high ground is very hard to crack. And Rapier on Miracle, queued up now as well. We'll have the money for it very, very shortly. I'm not entirely sure how he gets his courier out to uh, get it, but this is not. What item does he drop? Does he? He needs the mantle for the wave clear. He kind of needs. No, I think he can drop the scarred you can get rid of. Uh, for the... I guess it is manta, but Oof. he does want the modifier exactly for Scar. It's just, just awkward. I guess it is manta, but yeah, we'll see which one he goes for, or if he even goes for it because he might want buyback. It is on cooldown for for three minutes. Yeah, we shall see. Such yes, a tense quest. ending, though. What is their, what is their choice? I mean, I'm, I'm wondering who they're waiting to show you know what their fight condition is. Ooh, top lane, Malik Dooms doesn't find him though. Looks looks to go for some mail, but doesn't connect. And they got to be careful, Nigma Galaxy, as well. Like, he, you could see him turn around. What Malik was about to do, though, was refresh and blink back onto uh, Samael, because, of course, it would have refreshed Doom and it would have caught him out, but Samael caught himself and, and backed himself away accordingly as now they go the onto the Medusa. Nice lift. The lift up, throw back. BKB out from Miracle. Matching the BKBs coming out from Quest. Samael backing him up. 
quick glance to the left-hand side of your screen, we'll show you. Only one buyback available on Enigma Galaxy. It is Samael, so he has to be always in the front. Always baiting out these spells and... Doing a great job so far. Doom wasted. Exism wasted. ESG quest yeah. just not able to land that finishing blow. They have a refresher shot on the Terror Blade, and they have a refresher on the Doom, so... Mana and Doom will be back available if they want to go again. Enigma Galaxy didn't expend any Actually, of their spells, though. Refresher Shard handed well, over to the Death Prophet. Okay. A bit of item trading going the, on right now. The Terror Wave, so we'd be able to use 10 seconds of that if he wanted to. Feels a little Not scuffed to force yet. the game like that, but I think they just want to be ready. You know, give that Shard over mm -hmm. to the Death Prophet. If you do find yourself in the situation where you can kind of blow up Miracle, then you can commit. Otherwise, no. And... Aegis, 30 seconds left. I believe we will make it to that fabled 60 minute mark. Will Nick Galaxy be able to get out and get themselves some neutral items? I think we just farmed our way through that Aegis and the buybacks from Nigma are only a minute away. Beastmaster, he had a refresher for so long and only now he's entertaining the idea. He did get Link as well, but yeah, he's entertaining the idea of buyback once again. Thousand gold away. ESC quest, 60 minute items, another Roshan on the cards, they're not rushing this game, they know the severity of their misinitiation, oh. one static storm, one doom missed and they will falter at the high ground, Matthew oh, as well, this shard on the Rubik is doing so much work, you might get hit by a static storm but if Rubik's sitting back, he can just telekinesis you out of the kinetic, it's, it's such a yeah, hard counter. Been... That's been absolutely key here. The uh, lift over the kinetic field is always really, really important. Matthew's been absolutely brilliant at getting that off. And that's the thing, like Quest, the way they've been approaching these fights, you know, they haven't been going for any deep dives or anything like that. So been very much just frontliners and backliners in their positions. So catching Matthew out seems very unlikely. And now buyback status is suddenly looking very neat indeed. In fact, it's just as usual, FBZ buying up, not saving for his buyback. Hasn't been punished for it yet, and we'll be getting it somewhat soon. Malik. Malik and Matthew. Laying eyes on each other just a, just for a second there. Leshrak very far forwards here. Samael, the Doom's out once again. Malik trying to close the gap here on Samael. Samael, he can't get off the Wind Waker due to the Agnims on the Disruptor. And the rest of the team, they're not coming over to help him out here. They were going to go if Kuroki could get off like a decent Astral, Echo Stomp, something like that, but in the end, just not worthwhile. Long time dead on this Leshrac. It's far more way through the buyback, so they are back in play if he wants to. But we've seen this before, right? The Sumo buyback to defend top Rex into the chase down from Nygma. Mm -hmm. A poke a little bit in both lanes, but that's oh. just about it. 60 minute mark I like hits. Going what insane tier for fives are we gonna go? We can Miracle cover your was, insanity uh... in a sec. Okay, what's the insanity? Oh, well, I, no, I was going insane because uh, Miracle had just lost a bunch of gold, and I didn't understand how. But he bought the um, the Aghanim yes, Scepter. Yeah, he bought Aghanim Upgraded it, gobbled that yep. up, got the shard mm -hmm. as well. So full combo of that online. That's an extra layer right. of protection. Tier five time. May we please entertain yes, Radiant, if we can look at the shop and see what they are going for. They have the Book of Shadows uh, on the uh, techies. And the Death Prophet is yet to decide. Mirror Shield on the Terror Blade, so he can help reflect the roar. Very good, very good. Giant's Ring, now on the Death Prophet. Helps make him just a little bit tankier, as he is soaking up quite a lot of that. Aggression and Force Boots for an additional kite on that Disruptor. Relatively uh, good neutral items here. I think mainly the mirror shield is the big winner or PSG quest to counter that Beastmaster. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Mm. FBZ will have to play to accordingly. Get out of base. Oh, FBZ's Ooh, out of base yeah, right now. FBZ. He's found one. Nice. He's getting it done down on the bottom side. Hawks giving him a little bit of extra safety. He's just going to go and try and grab to get his team some neutrals. Oh. He's only got one so far. No access to ancient camps, so it will take a little bit longer. 
these ready creeps not really giving him what he wants. No. Come on, FBZ. Get the no, tier five. Do a little spin first. Mirror shield Medusa. Ooh. Wow. Mirror shield plus the Ags and the Shard. <laughs> do not target Medusa with any spells. Yeah, luckily for Doom, though, he has this like self cast AoE Doom, yeah. which he can utilize. Mirror shield, as much as it's nice, it's not the ha, gotcha type uh, type play. And FBZ is just AFK bottom as he waits. Doom also opts to go for the uh, Giant's Ring. I kind of feel like Ninja Gear holds so much value still. Of course, it's why it got the nerf in previous patches, not allowing you to hold yeah. that smoke effect once you put it into your backpack. But I think we might see this Doom still hold the Ninja Gear with the Giant's Ring and then toggle them through the fight. Ooh, another neutral item found by the Beastmaster. This one should go to the Lush. Certainly does. And another Mirror Shield. Okay, two Let Mirror Shields. This. Yeah, there's... Great. There's not that many targeted abilities, right? We're looking at... Yeah. Uh, there could limbs. be some Sunder. There could be Doom if you try to target Sunder. it. And you don't really know what the other options they're getting. Like They don't really yeah, take guess. unwavering condition, right? Ooh, let's go to 95%. <laughs> no, it's not yeah, going to be a fun way to lose. Yeah, exactly. Like, 10 attributes and also provide some reflection. And these type of fights are so chaotic that... You're not going to be able to manage the. Does he have mirror shield up? Is there LinkedIn to play? Oh, he's got something. You know, it's like it's just. Oh, I guess hex is probably the big thing as well, right? What is spells? No spells, hex. Mm, does that not 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 count as a spell? All right. Well, in that case, I just don't really get. I don't really understand why they're getting it, but uh, I guess we'll see in the fights how it pays off. It's been so long since I played a six minute game. I kind of forgot if it takes hex or not. I'll just make. I'll keep an eye on I the fight. I feel like it but... must. There's, there's. It's the only thing that explains a mirror shield to me. Otherwise, I can't understand it. So, uh, Seer Stone out from the Rubik. That's going to be very nice. The vision, the cast range, especially on this Rubik, who's got um, this lift, which has been so critical throughout the fights. And uh, by the way, he's got. A, he's managed to get quite a few mines down in the base, which is certainly helping with the high ground. So, bottom side, Roshan's being taken. By the way, Array, another. I mean, Russia shard's pretty Ooh. key. Noob has one, uh, Terra Blade actually has a Refresher Orb, Doom has a Refresher Orb, so uh, I guess this one goes to Disruptor. Very nice, Ducalus. I mean, that is a very, very key Refresher Shard as well. Yeah, on the, uh, on the Disruptor. That's going to be absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. They have a Refresher Shard on Tacky. Is a ref Wait, no, it's still on Disruptor. Sorry, I thought he was carrying it already. I was like, oh, they got a couple, but no, they don't. My bad. Oh, no, it's on DP. That's okay, they right. do. So they have two refresher shards. Yeah. They have a refresher on Doom, a refresher on Terror Blade. This Terror Blade has too many items, actually. He's got boot pods, two Aegis, a refresher, the MKB backpack, BKB backpack. And they still can't end the game. They have 46,000 gold and they are struggling. It is classic for PSG Quest, though, to be in these positions. Like, even when they're back, you know, years back, I say years back, like a year ago when they were playing internationally in these tournaments, it often was the, they have the big lead, but wait, they're not ending the game. They're not being dec decisive, they're playing too much, they're farming for next Roshan, and they have given us a couple uh, moments where they let their team, or their opponent back into it. This time around, though, with the tier five neutral items, and they break the base, of course, Mega Creeps aren't that important at this stage of the game. There's plenty of wave clear. No. Yeah, and Book of the Dead on Kuroki also going to help out as well. Middle Tower has fallen. <laughs> they did some building damage. PSG Quest, they break the high ground. First building to fall in a very, very long time. What a game though, Nick, but just playing with the, the heart of all their fans right now. It's a yeah one game away from elimination but they are sticking in and out they're trying their yeah. best to, to keep themselves in it what else can they do in this situation just hold to the high ground hope for the best still not really committing in for any rapiers or anything which to be honest not making sense for me because their buybacks are always going to be really critical especially against doom can't really help someone just getting doomed down so rubik he, he... You know, temporarily stole the proximity mine, so there is some soft covering for 
Ducalis enters the fight, immediately getting blasted down by Miracle, though. He's going to be able to take him out as Malik on the sideline finds Matthew. He's Matthew's a pretty up. critical kill. FBZ locked down, forced away. He's trying to get himself out of this one. Refresher all comes out from him. Miracle going so damn aggressive. Looking to bring down Omar. Looking for TA2000. TA2000 on the run. Turns around with a reflection. Malik in deep with the Doom. Takes down Omar. Miracle, he's not going to be able to save his Rubik for the time being. But now the Doom needs to get himself away. Malik, very low, roars out, finishes the job, and now they're looking for more. Meanwhile, on the sidelines, TA2000 is actually stunned up for the time being. Of course, has the Aegis, so it's not the prime target. They'll go for the DP instead. Stuns out, no more BKB available for the Medusa. She's taking so. hits right now, out of mana, running out of health. But look at the damage coming out. Will it be enough? It will not. Medusa goes down. Buyback available. She's going to use it, immediately trying to come back into this fight right now. As Samael charges the front line with his team. The buybacks are getting limited right now. TA2000 going on to the last right. Lash right drop in. Of course, he has buyback on the Lash, by the way. Miracles in deep. Brings down the Death Prophet. DB has a buyback. TB about to come back from the dead. Samales times it beautifully to blow up TA2000 again. Dead with buyback on the Terror Blade. They make the defense happen again. Nigma Galaxy. They are not giving up this high ground. They are not giving up this game. They are not giving up their hopes of getting to Dream League Season 23. Oh, so many things went somewhat wrong for PSG Quest in that fight. The tech is he had the Book of Shadows, but he just didn't use it on himself. And on top of that, in his Terror Blade, when he died with the Aegis, he wasn't able to get his BKB back in his backpack or you know, his inventory quick enough. So he wasn't able to protect himself after that. His Refresher's also been backpacked, so he couldn't get the you know, new wave of uh, spells available. And on top of that, yeah, Nygma, so quick to, to get Miracle back in the fight. And, Sumo, this is a little scary though. Nigma Galaxy running down the middle lane. Rapier in the back, hands yeah. of Miracle. Yeah, buyback's very much available for PSG Quest here, but they need to force it and they feel like this is the only way they can do it. FBZ under the cover of Shield Rune here, very critical. Sitting up at the front lines. Has the buyback available on FBZ, so he's happy to take to the front. Buyback also available on Samael. He never ended up going down in that last fight. Somehow he they're, survived through it all on the front lines. They're all in. Like the, they have the rapier. They're not going to leave this space. They're going to try and do everything possible. The, the tier one and tier two are still alive top. So if they want to stay here, it's, yeah, they're looking for the bottom side. But well, right now they're going for the barracks, and they fall very quickly indeed. They Will stay? this be they enough for them? Fake back. The old fake back. No, they're actually going no. back. Yeah, I feel like if they if they stay too long here, if they try and go for a. A zealous play, it will just net themselves a, a dead Medusa. Rapier drops, no buyback. Thanks for playing. We have our, our winner yeah. of the qualifiers. and I don't know. They, they have, have such so a huge... Discipline. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, you say that, but they're still out on the map right now. They're looking for they'll something. Samael blinking around. Yeah, there's just very little buybacks available on PSG Quest. So if Nigma Galaxy can find the entry to the fight and get their players back with the buybacks, you know, it needs to go perfectly. The Medusa has to be safe. Wait, but is, they is can the line being drawn. Right. FPZ is drawing the line down mid. He's, he's I surely think he just a naked mid push. Oh, mid push here would be kind of crazy. You didn't see it, you but have the, to be the so careful and the on Miracle. Just ran past each other. <gasps> yeah. He's there, jumping on. Uh, Raw. He doesn't have buyback. Comes in on the disruptor. It's a huge pick off. Dead for a hundred. No buyback. That is. A critical ultimate taken out of the inventory of PSG Quest. And now they're looking for another one. Omar's going to be that target. No buyback on this. Techies here. Nobody coming to help him either. He's they gone both. as well. Two no heroes buyback. dead. There is a real chance here, but he it's so hard. It's in the fight. Tier 2000. He's getting run down as well. He's dead on the high ground. Buyback Nick available. Doing it. They very might well may be. Refresher Orb used by Tier 2000. He's going to have everything up, but it's at three on five. Surely they can't defend this. PSG Quest. Now it's their turn to defend, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to do so. Both teams Here have they come. That's going to be critical as well. Both teams having Fortify right now as Doom comes down to the back lines. They're looking for the Medusa. The Medusa is a key target hit, but the damage! Oh my god, the damage from Miracle! That's way too much! Tier 2000's gone! GG is called! We're going to a game 5 here! Nigma Galaxy, hold on and come back in the fourth game to take us all the way to. They were like 44,000 gold down at some point. Every single Aegis went the way of uh, PSG Quest, but they just couldn't break the high ground after Nigma.